All right, Marcus, you just passed the PMP. How did the exam go for you, man? Uh, it was awesome. It was, you know, when you prepare so hard for something and you're led along the way, and in your mind you create all these scenarios because you train so hard, mm -hmm. and you and you get to the game. That's what I was calling it. When yeah. It was, like I was calling it the game. I saying when you get to the game, you get so prepared, you're just ready. Yeah. And it was, it's honestly, it was what I expected it to be. That's awesome, dude. All right, cool. So like everybody's got a little journey, like, you know, tell me the, the short version of like, how did you get here? So for me, it was a 10 year goal mm -hmm. that I call it a glass door dreaming. Mm -hmm. And I was looking on a glass door and I was looking at these different jobs and different certifications. And I said, I wanted to have a PMP. I said, I want to have my MBA. And I said, I wanted to do it as fast as I can. Mm -hmm. And that goal took 10 years. And then the, la the last leg, you were there. The last leg literally, you were there and you, your entire team. Uh, and, I, and, I, and I realize now it, turn, it turns into a village. Mm -hmm. And it takes a village to raise a project manager. And the village, <laughs> seriously. And the village was there leading me the way, handing me the baton and said, go ahead. It's your turn. You finish this thing out. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so talk us through kind of like um, what the environment was like in the accelerator and with the community and stuff like so. So for someone who doesn't know, like just kind of break it down to be like, when you come into the accelerator, this is what you're going to get. Bang, bang, bang. Like, what is it like for anybody out there? So the accelerator is a community of project managers leading other project managers, um, helping you study for the exam um, in an interactive our environment that's also involves pull communication and it's always led by your you the coach you're the head coach mm -hmm. and you have other coaches leading uh, students like me along their journey uh and a hundred percent of the way all the way to the very end like i said it's it's like handing the baton off right to the the day before my exam you're sending me text messages telling me not to overthink it telling me you got this there's 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 nothing like uh, what the seven day accelerator is along with the master course, along with the EVM um, made simple, all the, all the, everything. There's nothing like it. Nothing That's awesome. Like it. That's awesome, dude. All right, cool. And I know that like you had gone through like, like from the first day on you, you know, we had contact, you know, you have a lot of access, like people know my phone number, which is good. Like, uh, like you had gone in, like when you you have a master's in project management, right? Right. Like MBA in project management. Yes. MBA in project management. Like you know what's going on. And yeah. so, like when you got into the videos initially, like how were you feeling? Like what was the learning like for you? At that point, I feel like I've seen it all. Mm -hmm. And then when I seen yours, I said, and I realized I have seen it all mm -hmm. because I saw what it's supposed to be like. Mm -hmm. I saw what's supposed to feel like project management. Yes, it's an art and a science. I'm sure we'll get into that. But when you when you collaborate, when you realize you're doing things together, mm -hmm. when you realize that you have uh, people that believe in you, you believe in you. Uh, you believe in every student that comes to your program, and you and you and you you got you slowly doing this, pushing them out, yeah. right? And then and, and I had an analogy this morning that I said, "What it's like? It's like a bridge. It's like you're." And we're all we're all going through projects, right? We're all project, right? And this this gaining that access to like that PMP island is what mm -hmm. I call it. I call it like the PMP island because you're now you're among elite group of people. Like so, my my exam was Wednesday and it's Sunday and it's still sinking in, right? Like the first day, there's a lot of things that are going that are going on, and you you like the first thing I wanted to do, I want to sit down and do lessons learned. <laughs> I want to sit down and do a retrospective. <laughs> Why? Because it's part of the process. Finish your process, right? And I did. And it was when I, when we first jumped on the call, he said, explain, explain to how you feeling. And, and that's when I wrote it down. I still have it here. Um, and, I, and, 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 and going back to what, what it is as becoming a, a, getting into that island, you're, you're that bridge, right? You're the bridge that brings, brings us to that island. You're the knowledge gap, like the knowledge gap. There's a, there's a, let, there's a big gap here. You're the bridge that brings us across, right? It's like, come on, follow me. 
I collegiate you right away. <laughs> like I was real hyped that day. I called you the Messiah and you still are. You're the, you're the main channel. You bring the passion back into the pin box. Mm-hmm. Like I have the pin box sitting next to me, right? It's, it's passion and I, and I enjoy it. And like, and, and it's the whole, the whole experience is led by passion, right? You start with why, right? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what wouldn't you who doesn't want to follow somebody that starts with why yeah right and you do that That's every awesome. every single process every 49 process what do you do you go to the first video you do the deep dive is all right we're going to start with why yeah <laughs> that makes sense all logical yeah yeah and that's what as we get through kind of like you know the thing i think that's really cool as it's evolved was like hey we come with a perspective that like first of all this is logical and then everybody can do it Everybody who's a project manager can do this. There is no negativity in the sense that like, oh, these are the nine reasons you're going to fail. This is the, you know, like when I look out now into like the the market or whatever you want to call it, the world of people that are teaching, it seems so negative and down. Yeah. And I'm like, nah, I'm not on board. Like, I don't agree. And so mm-hmm. did you like, like as you went through it kind of, how did you, you were obviously in tons of the coaching calls. Like what was the, how did the coaching calls help get you down that, that bridge or whatever you're talking about? Like, what do the coaching calls do for you, man? The, the coaching cars is your free throw practice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the coaching calls is your route practice. The coaching calls is your swim practice, your, your legs, the, the, yeah. which you, there are hundred meters you have to do to get across and to, to train up to the, the marathon yeah. the exam. Yeah. Right. And you have trained coaches, <laughs> that leads you every single step of your journey. I'm just going to take you here. You need to come here. I need to see where your mind is. Mm-hmm. I need to see where your focus is. And you say that. I need to see where your brain is. And it's true. If your brain isn't in the right perspective, it's not going to make sense to you. Yeah. And it's like you said, your, your boutique service, meaning um, I, I, I now quantify it as you have to have a why the size of a room. Why? My why was, and that's my story. Yeah. And that why was always in my, in my corner. It, yeah. it filled up the room, right? So when adversity showed up and it became the fulcrum, right? And, and this is my why holding it down. It was like, eh, no. Eh, no, I'm not moving. I'm not moving, right? Dude, that is really good. Like, yeah. And, and then like, we've made a decision because it's all about the student and it, it all, this material all started with the student. Like I was the first student and I was like, I gotta get myself through like, right. and then it came into like, if we can continue to put the focus on the individual student and think about how their brain works and how they need to be supported. And I love the, like, I see it in my head now. Like yeah. there is that Island and there is yeah, the gap. Bridge. Yeah. yeah, it's a bridge. Yeah, it, it, came, it came to me this morning. I was like, you know what, you know what Scott does? Scott says, okay, your project and your project is to develop this bridge. Yep. We're going to see what it's going to take for you to get to that island. Yeah. And I've already developed the bridge and the bridge has been successfully uh, completed. I was 123 and whatever number you are now. I know you had a lot of people go through the project. Yeah, 129. Right, yeah, right. Since well, Wednesday, 100, that's 129 since Wednesday. bridges complete. Yeah. Right? From, from yeah. being isolated and over to get into the PMP island. Now yeah. we, it's to complete, come on, follow the process, TTP. That's I, I started using the term TTP, trust the process a yeah. very long time ago. Yeah. And all you have to do is follow Scott's process, TTP with Scott, you're going to get into the item. Yeah. And the cool thing is, is like, it wasn't like, uh, just be quiet, follow the stuff. Like it, mm-hmm. our stuff is big on like, I'm not giving you, I mean, I'm teaching in the calls and stuff or in the videos, in the calls, but like the calls, I don't, we don't give answers. Like it's, it's you bringing the, yeah. the free throw practice to the game. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. So, so that's awesome, man. Um, now, you know, you've been, seen a lot, you've done a lot, like as you go back to regular work and you start like, you know, the next role that you have, mm-hmm. like, how are you going to approach it now? Like, you've been a great project manager, you've done all this stuff, like, what's different? What, what's built up in your mind? Anything? Um, the the adolescents, the twins, <laughs> yeah. uh, communication and engagement. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 10 to 13. I see what what they do to a project, how you need to be involved in the project, how when you establish your line of communication, you got to make sure you're engaged with your stakeholders the entire way through, your your sponsors the entire way through. That's awesome. From the beginning to end. And that's the art of it, right? And everything else, all, what's that? How many are we left with? 
after the two is on eight. Yeah. The rest of the eight, right, is all the science, the integration, right? And I noticed when I was just staring at page 25, I, I saw I saw our integration and I saw stakeholder engagement and I saw how they ran parallel. And the only way they the only place that they stopped was at the very end. And that made made a whole lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, this because the because the in, project integration is the responsibility of the project manager. Mm -hmm. The whole job is the responsibility of the project manager. When it comes to rolling everything up, yeah, that's the project manager's job. But as as far as engagement, don't forget that. That's at the very bottom, but it's very important. 13.4 is very important. Yeah. You gotta monitor what you're if if you're if what you said you're gonna do, if you're still doing it with engagement. Yeah. Like if you think about it that way. Even though we may not plan it and have the plan to do it, we need to think about it that way. And that's yeah. where a lot of my thinking has changed. That's awesome, man. And you know, like, like as you're talking and I've had, I got 12 of these interviews today, which is an awesome way to spend the day. And so like we're halfway through. And so nobody so far in the, the hundreds of other previous interviews that we've done has gone and say, Hey, the things you got to do is you got to memorize. The thing you got to do is get all these idos down. The thing you got to do. But if I go to the internet, that's all I see is like acronyms and idos and blah, blah, blahs. Ooh. But go. No, 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 finish, please finish. But I have one for that one too. All right, cool. And so the thing that I see is like, you're talking about mm -hmm. your life, your project, the, your perspective, like your philosophy, your approach and how you're doing it. And I'm like, mm -hmm. that is what you need to pass. You got to know the, the names and stuff like that, but you got to like, if you can get that inside your soul, then oh, yeah. you can answer the yeah. questions. I like, I like, I like the way you finished that one, especially with the soul, because it starts from the gut. And I know you want to go there at yeah. some point in this conversation. Yeah. But when it comes to memorizing, I also have an analogy for that to get into the island. Memorizing mm -hmm. is like the what do you say that data dump is like the devil? It is. Yeah. Because what happens is once you rely on something now as a memorization, it's like going onto the island on the tightrope. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And once you hit that strong turbulence and that winds <laughs> versus a bridge, and you have all your stabilization, yeah. you have all your foundation in the way it's built, and now you walk on a little tightrope. I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get. There. No, you won't. It's not gonna happen. Sorry, buddy. You're gonna <laughs> fall off. You don't have the foundation. Yeah. It's not part of you. Yeah. It's not in your, it's not, it's not a part of who you are. You didn't make it that. Yeah. Once you make it that, once you have a passion for it, once your wife fills up the room, you're yeah. unstoppable. <laughs> that is good. And then like the way, like I think about, like I love the metaphor. Like I really love the metaphor of the bridge now. And so like there's like, what do we do to get there? And then it's not just good enough to get to the island. Like there's a lot of tricky ways that people have faked their way into the island. But uh, it's like, if you get there and you you have this fake shield and you're like, I just got there because I did all these boot data dumps and cheats and whatever and whatever that they call out there. And I just skated by and just got over the line. And oh, I just swam myself there. Oh, yeah. Like, it's almost like you're a like an invader to the island or you're, you're oh, faking the island. Don't fall in the water. <laughs> you ain't gonna get out. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't gonna get out. There's, yeah, you can't live on your own in, in the it real world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what the 200 situ question, situational questions do to you. Yeah. Right? That's what the training does to you. That's what the coaching calls do to you. That's what the encouragement does to you. You build all these things up. Yeah. It's like, oh, this ain't hard. Now, if I was to talk, go back to the exam for a minute, mm -hmm. I feel like I have this foundation about myself. Mm -hmm. that I was able to, to, to cross with no problem. Like mm -hmm. you preach slow down, you slow down to speed up. My problem is, is that I slowed down and I did speed up. Uh -huh. I slowed down because my foundation allowed me to drive across the bridge at a hundred miles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm ready, just let me in. I had, I had a couple of these, right? I had a, I had a stop gate, literally. I yeah. had a stop gate. I stopped twice in my exam. Yeah. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Right. I lost connection over 32 questions left at the test center. Yeah. That doesn't happen. Yeah. I had a 20 minute break. I had a, I had a four minute break and a 20 minute break. That doesn't <laughs> happen. I'm talking with the pro the, the first proctor outside, just having a kind of conversation. Just like, man, so how's your day been so far? But I mean, has this ever happened? You know, people take this regular conversation. Just talk yeah. with the guy. And then she's like, okay, you can come back. All right, cool. I finished the exam. I do all the 200 questions. I have a hundred minutes left. <laughs> and I'm just like, hundred minutes left. I'm just like, man, okay, I'll review. 
we need to review. But then I go through like the first 10 questions. I'm just like, no, number seven is about. <laughs> number yeah. seven is about change. Number yeah. seven is about, and I'm like, nope, too much change, hit the cement. Yeah. Right. I submitted with like 90 minutes left. Why? Because I was a hundred, like I said, a hundred miles an hour across that bit. My foundation was sound. I don't care if it was a hurricane coming. It didn't, I didn't feel it. I was locked in. <laughs> Boom. Gone. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. And, and that's like what it takes. Like some people want this, like, you know, like, oh, I'll get it there tonight or all these little things to get you like a magic wand. And like, you didn't take, you didn't take long, a couple of weeks. You're probably ready, you know, a little bit before that. Um, yeah. But yeah, that foundation is where, what gets you there and where you can be like, doesn't matter, like you, full transparency, like the first time you sat for the exam and the, uh, the computer popped out, wasn't your fault. Nope. You know, I know you were, you were ready to go. You were like, you know, you were ready. And so like, yeah, boom, like, okay. All right, I got, you're doing this to me, testing me. That's cool. Yeah. And then back again, and then you went through it and then tested you again. Yeah. But you came over and you came over and it's like, it just seems like so much more like I was being refined. There you go. Cause that's I if I didn't face those adversities, mm -hmm. <laughs> if if my if if it didn't if I didn't have it like this and my my wife didn't sit so heavy on this side and then Yeah. Yeah, the, oh, like the first, the second, the third thing could have thrown you off. You could have taken the easy I hear all this time all these people get the easy explain. Well, the computer did this. Oh, well, this blah 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 blah. And you're like, cool. Yep, those are ab obstacles. Yep. You know, and but you know what I've learned from that? Because that's that's what I was saying that day, that day, Scott. It was like the universe wasn't done giving me that lesson. It was like, hold on. You got some more fire to go through. Yeah. <laughs> Let me just show you something. So one one of your one of your students I passed a long time ago, he he said a very uh uh, elicit foundation of what you need to do in order to be mentally prepared and physically prepared for your exam. Mm -hmm. He says, you need to know the content. You need to be focused. You need to uh, fight fatigue. You need to manage time. He named five things. Mm -hmm. And I had those five things stuck in my head the whole time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Emmanuel. Yeah. Emmanuel. Yeah. Great guy. Great guy. I love his interview. I've seen a lot of your interviews. I love his interview. Yeah. One of the things that I also learned among, along established with the manuals, was that you have to learn how to breathe. Yeah. Breathing helps can calm the mind. Yeah. Now, once you can calm the mind, you can calm the body. Your, your focus, again, comes from out here and you, you're able to just boom. That's, that allowed me to do that. So the universe said, sorry, Marcus, you're not ready because have you learned how to breathe? Yeah. Right? And I said, okay, all right. <laughs> so the whole time I'm breathing, right? You The, the, the text that I sent you that day, right? You said, yeah. breathe. Yeah. I was like, okay, it's not right, just breathe. <laughs> Just breathe. Just breathe. Right. Another thing I another thing I did uh when I came to the exam, I'm breathing, I'm doing all those things, and I'm looking for change. Mm -hmm. The whole the whole time. I'm looking for change. Because the way my mind was at that time, mm -hmm. I saw so many things as change. Number seven. I keep on saying number seven because you know why. Yeah. And I say and I call it lucky number seven, because when you have seven, seven, seven. Mm -hmm. in front of a lot of machine there's a whole lot of change coming back to you <laughs> See, literally and yeah and literally and physically yeah, yeah right and then and then i had i had eight and i said you you got to recognize where you are so just like knowing the exam content the same the same practices of shooting those free throws you utilize them mm -hmm. now you win the game yeah that was oh i see now before i've been in this you know, he's trying to put me in the post. I think I can pick a basketball, play a lot of basketball on football. Yeah. He's trying to put me in the post. He's trying to put me in his bad position. No, I'm just going to shoot the fadeaway. Boom. Yeah. Done. On to the next question. Yep. Right? Yep. So it's like, I've been there before in my mind. And then number nine for me, because from those five, I'll put four more on it. Number my, number nine for me, which is my favorite, was, it was just becoming the Thousand Face Hero. And everybody knows who the Thousand Face Hero is. Right? I don't think they do, dude. Well, like, I mean, I, 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 mean, I talk about it all the time. I have in your program. We okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. away. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you gotta, yeah, know, yeah. you gotta know. You gotta get in the program. Figure out who the thousand face hero is. Yeah. I became the thousand face hero. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it was. And after I had those things in my head, and then I saw it, and and then it's it's only in retrospective, right? It's only in yeah. retrospective. We can go back and look. It's like, oh, oh yeah, I did that. This is yeah. this is what I needed to do to get over the bridge, to get onto the island, right? And it's a repeatable process. Trust God. Get behind them. Yeah. Right. He's like. This is what you need to do. It's real simple. I looked at almost, <laughs> I looked at all your deep dive videos. Yeah. 
I looked at the seven day accelerator videos. The, my favorite video is day five. Yeah. All at the stake. Yeah. It, it's 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 the it's probably one of my my favorite next to day one and day two where you logically break the pen block down and like you break a book this big. Yeah. <laughs> you break a book that that big and down in like two three hours two and a half three hours and it's logic it, and you see every output. I'm going to my exam. I was talking to my mom about page twenty five and I kept on calling a uh, validate scope verified deliverable. Mm -hmm. She was like. You know, son, you know, it says uh, verify. I said, no, but I'm just keep on thinking of the output. Mm -hmm. it's what it, it, what it outputs, right? Yeah. My whole mind, I was, it, and, and why? Because you, you teach like that. You say you, you want to learn the ITO, you start with the output. Mm -hmm. You start seeing, you start seeing the, <laughs> it starts moving. Page 25 starts moving. And I, and I looked at it now and I, and I see like, this is the frame of it. And every little cog is a moving clock and it's just moving. Nice. It's like a little serpentine, right? It just, <laughs> and that's what's happening. It's amazing. And you said, you'll see it. You said it in day one. You said, you're going to see page 25 and it's going to become living. Oh, you, you predict the future. It's amazing. <laughs> That's Call cool, it trust the process, TTT. That's it. Yeah. And then that, that, you know, the 49 process is it's like, yeah, once you get in there, you said a lot of cool stuff. Like, but like if you start with the why, it'll yeah. let you, it'll s surround you with like a defense that will allow you to get into it and and understand what the whys are what the processes are what the purpose is and then once you get in and you let it like marinate and sit and you think about it and have confidence and vulnerability and then you start to see those processes move around and stuff so yeah man uh it's obvious that you got it now and you did my really favorite well. part of the coaching call is when i got stuff from that was my favorite part what was that I, say one I, I, I said huh well, I couldn't hear you say it again. The favorite I part. I said my favorite part of the coaching calls when I would get things wrong, because then the next day or the next morning it was still burning up at me. I remember a coaching call when I think it was about external failure costs, and I didn't, I didn't fully go through all the material and quality yet. And I was like, how did that external? He should have been. But then how could he foresee that? And then, then oh man, it was a, and that was the greatest learning experience. Oh, I love, <laughs> and that's another thing. That's one of the things I shared with the students that day was like just enjoy being wrong because you got learning coming in and that's the whole point yeah. right develop your foundation right that's cool man that is really really awesome so there are, there are definitely people out there that are like you that you know introspective on how they approach this stuff like want to you know have a goal for themselves to go forward and they're trying to build themselves up and so for those people that are out there like you and like they know they have like a couple days left or a couple whatever left what would you recommend for them to make sure that they end up successful like you? Write your one pager and know how to defend it. Look at page 25 and know how to defend it. Mm -hmm. um, make sure your why uh, is as big as the room because yeah. when adversity shows up, that's, that's going to be your deterrent. That's going to be your, your spray. That's what you're going to use to outweigh anything that comes against you. That's awesome. And then, and then once you're in the coaching calls, once you start answering them all, it's time to it's time to let the next student in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's time to time to move on. Yeah, then... your 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 capsule is now open. You are now free to go out and be a. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the cool thing is like the way because you you know all the coaches and you know the the deal that for us is like I have it's all students or ex students that they've evolved to the point where they're like like. They know what the deal is. They know what we went through. They know what success feels like. They know the ups and downs. They know how to get across that bridge. And like when they're ready to go, then we just open the door, like you said, and say, it's time, let's do it. And then mm -hmm. a lot of them go and, you know, there's all of them are successful, but a lot of them come back and go, all right, how do I, how do I get involved in this thing? And there's like a role for everybody, you know? So uh, I think the community is getting so much stronger. Mm -hmm. um, and really at the end of the day, like, I don't know, I'm gonna say it. And like, uh, I think in three years, no one will do a boot camp again. Like, no one will. I'm saying that there'll probably be some some people that'll stick to it, but once we once the word a, gets out, yeah, there won't be a reason for a boot camp because you have all the market share. Yeah, and it's not even about the business side of it. Like, it's not <laughs> I mean, even about that. It's the, the truth. truth. But like. The, yeah, like the, me I think the method 
the method that's our real that's my real like as i've thought a lot about the the thing that i really if i could yeah. say what uh, there's a there's a one of the pmi founders i've been lucky enough to make connection with him we're gonna have a I mean, Lord willing, we'll have a call. I really want to understand what they were thinking about when they founded PMI and the PMP. Mm. Like, what was driving them? Because, God, man, they did some good work in, like, putting this together and creating it and all those things where it's like, I think that the, the system that we're creating and the community is in an entire alignment with what they want. It's Correct. people leading people, yeah. really being humble. Yeah. And and servant kind of perspective and progressive and leading toward it. So number four. Yeah. Togetherness. Yeah. Is it are you gonna do it alone or together? <laughs> it's yeah. all here, man. It's all lenses, just like these glasses. You yeah. see the you are you solving a problem for her? Yes, PMI does that. Are they doing collaborative? Yes, they are. They're not they don't realize you they say the same thing. You need yeah. a, a village to raise a project manager. Yeah, you don't want to yeah. send out somebody into the world that doesn't know how to solve problems by bring without bringing people together. Yeah, because it's not about like that's the thing I learned a long time ago, and I still struggle with all the time is that project management is not about you as the project manager. It's about what you're doing for the organization and their stakeholders and the people you're trying to deliver change to. Like that's the game, and once you get out of your own way and your own like uh, ego, then you're much much better set up to be successful. You're more, you're more powerful by empowering others. You, you're, yeah. you created a stronger team. Once you, once you put your belief in others, we could do this. This is what you do. You could yeah. do this. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And once you do that, like, in, you know, whether it's in project management or the way in which we prepare. So yeah, like at the end of the day, why don't you just close us out here? Like, like if, what is the what is the just a big aha that's come to you? I know you've said a lot of them, but what's the the last thing that you want to leave these people with when they're thinking about like you know they're going to take the next step now? And so like, how do you want to prepare them for that next step? Like, what would you tell them if they haven't signed up? If okay, well let me start there. If they decide to take the exam and they're ready for an exam, if their why is big enough to fill up a room. Well, again, we got to start back at the beginning, typewriter, right? Boop. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning. What are you doing this for? You got to make that face. What are you doing this for? Let's yeah. throw a fishbone diagram. Let's give you five of them. Give me five whys you want to do this for. Are those five whys big enough? Root cause it, right? Let's start at yeah. the very beginning, right? Yeah. If they're ready, get right on board with PM Master Prep because the passion, the desire, the willing, the drive, that bridge is all established it's it's established it's proven who else has who else can prove what you have proven and will be continuing to prove over the next year you just getting started yeah, yeah. right <laughs> yeah yeah dude you gotta see the page we're creating like i mean i got 12 interviews today i think and uh success all success stories right yeah all success all stories success. and and it's like 100 and i think we're at 129 now and it's starting to ramp up Dude. all right buddy give me one second uh and i got you know doing it all while raising kids as yeah. said, like you yeah like that's the real what part you about it. to do this is what this is what you wanted to do you <laughs> yeah. created this yeah you created this that was your why right yeah 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 that's and it what was I like mean. That's yeah what yeah I mean. it has to be that big yeah i like the damn dude i like the why because if i think uh if i think back to like big stuff that's happened like for anybody if they think about like big stuff that's happened in their life like it's been those times where it's been like, yeah, like whatever they throw in my way, we're going to deal with it because they had that why behind it. But when these people come to us and they say like, oh, I failed in this and they start throwing out excuses, it's like, okay, great. Everybody has something. We had that lady, Vanessa, who was getting, she wasn't getting pregnant. She had, I can't handle that. I can't, I can't do that. No. Uh, she was going to have a baby in three yeah. weeks. Yeah. Like a baby in three too. weeks or two yeah, weeks, too. two weeks. Yeah. yeah. A baby in two weeks. And she was like, I'm doing it. And I was like, shit, like, got it done. you got it done. She had a big why. And so, yeah, it starts with that. Um, that's crazy, man. All right, Marcus. I really, really appreciate it. This will not be the last time we talk. Uh, okay. let's stay in touch. And then you'll be critical to like the alumni stuff as we keep going and building it through and, and, uh, and just supporting more students. Cause, uh, 
you know, it's an empowering experience at the end of the day. Like so many people out there are saying that like, Oh, that I went to this PMP and I would never do that again. And I'm like, dude, yeah. you have just been robbed. Yeah. Not only of your 12,000, 1200 bucks or 2000, whatever they spent, you've been robbed yeah. of a changing experience. That'll make you better. And I'm sorry for that. But, uh, I think in the end, I think yeah. in the end, that's where we're supposed to lead you, right? The, you go through the pen box and if you don't read the pen box and the, all the authors that have put their knowledge into mm -hmm. it and, and even if you can't get behind Scott and understand his knowledge and everything he has put into it, and if you can't trust the process, I'm sorry, it's not for you. Yeah. But it can be for you if mm -hmm. you, if you, if you recognize, if you recognize, if you see yourself in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and you mentioned something about like all the people in the pen box, like, yeah, the back, I got on my desk, the back of the book is full yeah. of all the people that contributed and like, Let's have a little bit of respect for yeah. all these people. All those people. Carlos, Juan Carlos Moreno, Ivan uh -huh. Rincon, Frank Parth. I'm just reading <laughs> yeah, random ass out. names. Yeah, we can like do Mercedes that. Martinez Sands, Kristen Valletta. Hold on, wait, hold on. Hey, hold on. Yeah, 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 you got all the names in there. Like, <laughs> like these guys, Lee Lambert, all these guys that founded this thing, like. It's an anti-standard. Yeah. It's an anti-standard. What does that mean? A lot of people don't even understand what that means. What's an anti-standard, huh? Huh? Yeah. Some people have some people have the I don't want to mean to do this, but some people have their PMP. You don't even realize what they have. True. That's disturbing. Yeah. And I'm just like, like I carry my badge differently. Yeah. I'll just put it that way. I carry my badge differently. I, ca I came from a different camp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our camp is different. We, yeah. we we have we put the passion, like I said, we're gonna put the passion back in the pin box. Yeah. Right. We hope to be among those authors one day. That's our vision. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, that that's the thing. Like. Yeah, putting the passion back into the pinbox. Like, I, it's not insulting to them. Like, it's just like, yeah, it's like the community aspect of it. Like, it was built by community, which is a good thing because it's not just, you know, whatever. And then, you know, we have a different perspective, like to bring in compliment and say, it's not us against the pinbox, it's us with the pinbox. Right. Like, in, in reality, I feel like everybody out there that's doing these boot camps and stuff and live online, they are against it. The, they're Opposite. sucking the soul out of the pinbox. Correct. And that like makes me angry. Yes. And so, yeah, yeah let, let's respect it and go back yeah. in. And so, because uh, the pinbox never said memorize me. The pinbox said, no, it never me. did. No, it never said, did. Me. Yeah. It said, a, a book is a mirror. <laughs> oh, shit. A book is a mirror. You're supposed to reflect what, what is written by people with passion. Once you start to pull out the contents from you, you start to develop those passions and you start to see yourself in it. A book is a mirror. Dude. A book is a mirror. You get you gave me a ton of good stuff. Like, uh, and I think that's some of the best things about like this. This our, this interview may never end. Um, and Ooh, so wait, well, I, wait. I'm sorry. I'm gonna cut you off. But you remember that picture I sent you when I had yeah. all those broken out? That was that was the pen bot broken mm -hmm. out into process groups, mm -hmm. right? Why? Because that's you have to understand the flow. And I knew that. Mm -hmm. I knew that. I was like, when I was going through, I was like, no, I need, I need to read it this way, not this way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And why? Because that's how it's meant to be understood. Yeah. Life is a flow. Things yeah. happen. You yeah. can plan. Things happen. Things change. Plans change. That's, that's why I did the way I scored on the, on the exam, the way I scored, because I went back and looked at my, my uh, mm -hmm. analysis. I, was like, I know I scored this way because the, the way I felt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's dead on right man um and the book is a mirror in a sense i love that what you're saying is that like you get out of it what you where you are mentally and 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 like <clears throat> i like uh, i had an interview with uh courtney this morning and she said i think she was the one she was like i love the pinbox now yeah. and i was like oh so like her she always didn't love it but her evolution of it yeah. And like mine and yours, like our, our perspective evolved as we started to appreciate. And I mm -hmm. think that appreciation is on like, it's like you said, it's more of a mirror on like where you are mentally, where you're mm -hmm. like, I can understand now and I can appreciate it. So like, yeah, like that's made me think a lot in basketball. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's yeah, good. Buddy, that's called, that's called, that's called iron and iron. They know where that's from. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, like that. Yep. Um, all right, man. Well, this has been really grateful. Or I'm really grateful for it. It's been really great. I'm um, grateful for I'm grateful to you. Yep. I'm grateful to John. 
I'm grateful yep. for the coaches. I'm grateful for being master prep. I'm grateful for my wife. I'm grateful for my daughter, my mother, my my support team. I'm yep. grateful for everything that has turned me into the man I am today. That is good. Uh, talk to me a little bit about kind of like I think this is the I got to. I'm gonna do a podcast on this week. Like the, uh, I don't know the name yet. We'll come up with it in a second, but like, um, like the unnamed member of your team, like the most mm -hmm. important person, like you said, family, you know, mother, wife, kids, like what role did you see them playing uh, or, or like, what was it? Like, yeah. I'm not trying to, I don't want you trying to break me down right now. Shit. I'm beating <laughs> you there, dude. <laughs> so we're good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> my my beautiful wife that's when i say mirror I also see her as my twin right i see her as the communication and engagement <laughs> the art <laughs> of relationships <laughs> yeah yeah right that that's my rock she yeah. when i said babe i'm not i'm i don't have exactly what i need to cross and get into this island yeah she said find it babe she knows how i am I'm, <laughs> I go deep, Scott. And yeah. I was like, I need to find it. I was going through the audible. I found it through your book, through listening yeah. to John's stories. Yeah. I was like, okay, this is it. Yeah. Right. And then my mom, when when we when I had the certification and it's done, and I print it out and I put it in a frame and it's like the trophy, right? Yeah. That's your trophy. And I show it to my mom, and my mom just gives me this biggest hug. Hug. I never felt a hug like that. She just vibrated and I felt her energy. And I was, oh man. And then my daughter, the way she just smiled at me, like, yeah, she, I'm just, you said, like, you do it, you do it to lead an example for them. Like, I'm, my daughter has to see what winner looks like. If she don't know what winner looks like, then how's she ever gonna win? Yeah. Yeah. Damn, dude. That is good. So that, like, that, we got to end on that one. That's a good one. Like, to bring it all kind of like full circle, like you started with, um, like the why to fill the room, which is, I don't know if you made that up, but God damn, I'm quoting you. Um, and so <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, and so like having that come full circle where you're like, yeah. Um, and it, think about like, it relates back to project management and in, in, in itself to say like, once you realize it, like you have to have the community, you have to have the team. Like you said, it takes a, a, team, a community to build a project manager. Like these are, I'm just basically quoting you. Uh, and so, um, yeah, it brings it all together and you get to celebrate with them. Pretty good. Yeah, Pretty good. that's and that's part of, that's part of, pro, that's PMI way. You got to celebrate right at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you mean to tell me, you mean to tell me this book doesn't represent life? Yeah. <laughs> you mean to tell me what we go through is an iteration and this project and gaining this certification is an iteration of a project and something that you're going through and yeah. you just lived out a project life cycle? You mean to yeah. tell me that didn't happen? Yes, that just happened. Yeah. And then you're just going to go into your next iteration. Damn. And just be better for it. Yeah. All right, man. Well, this is really good. Marcus, this won't, like I said, it won't be the last time we talk. We'll nope. hook it up and we'll figure out a way to get you involved in the, the community and stuff full time. Again, coach. All right. I'll see you later, dude. All right, man. <laughs> All see right, Scott. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate it, sir. See ya. All right. Bye. Yes, sir.